Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnik's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to recall a finite geometric series and we will find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence. Let's have a review on finite geometric series. A geometric series is known as the sum of all the terms in a geometric sequence. The sum of a finite geometric sequence is given by the formula a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r if the last term is not given. And if the last term is given, we are going to use the formula s sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n times r all over 1 minus r. Wherein a sub 1 is the first term, r is the ratio, and n is the last term. Find the sum of the first five terms of the geometric sequence 1, 4, and 16. Using the formula a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r, a sub 1 is equal to 1, and r is equal to 4 over 1, or simply 4. Substituting the values to the formula, we will then have s sub pi is equal to 1 times the quantity 1 minus 4 to the fifth power all over 1 minus 4. Or simply, 1 times 1 minus 1024 all over 1 minus 4. That is negative 1023 all over negative 3 or simply 341. That means that the sum of the first five terms of the given geometric sequence is equal to 341. Let us now discuss an infinite geometric series. The sum of an infinite geometric sequence is given by the formula A all over 1 minus R, wherein R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. If R is greater than 1 but less than negative 1, that means that the geometric sequence has no limit or no sum. Again, A is the first term and R stands for the ratio. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence 4 to 1. Let us first identify the ratio of the given sequence. That is 2 over 4 or simply 1 half. Since R is between negative 1 and 1, therefore, the sequence has a sum. A sub 1 is equal to 4. Using the formula A all over 1 minus R, geometric series is equal to 4 all over 1 minus 1 half. Simplifying the denominator, that is 4 all over 1 half, which is the same as 4 over 1 over 1 half. Multiplying the extremes and the means, we will then have geometric series is equal to 8 over 1, or simply 8. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, 6, 2, and 2 thirds. Solving for the ratio, we will then have 2 over 6, which is equal to 1 third. Since the ratio is between negative 1 and 1, therefore, the sequence has a sum, wherein a sub 1 is equal to 6. Using the same formula, we will then have 6 all over 1 minus 1 third. Simplifying the denominator, that is 6 all over 2 thirds, or simply 6 over 1 over 2 thirds. Multiplying the means and extremes, we will then have 18 all over 2, or simply 9. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, 2, 4, and 8. Solving for the ratio, we will then have r is equal to 4 over 2, or simply 2. Since the ratio is not between negative 1 and 1, therefore, the sequence has no sum. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, 8, 
4 and 2. Solving for the ratio, we will then have 4 over 8 or simply 1 half. Since R is between negative 1 and 1, therefore the sequence has a sum. Using the same formula, A over 1 minus R, substitute A sub 1 by 8. That is 8 all over 1 minus 1 half. That is equal to 8 over 1 half. This one is the same as 8 over 1 all over 1 half. Multiplying the both ends and the means, we will then have geometric series is equal to 16 over 1 or simply 16. Let us now generalize what we have discussed in this video. A geometric series is the sum of all the terms in a geometric sequence and the sum of an infinite geometric sequence is given by the formula A all over 1 minus R wherein R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. If R is greater than 1 but less than negative 1, that means that the geometric sequence has no limit or it has no sum. Let's now have a knowledge check. Don't forget to pause this video while you are answering. Let us now discuss your answers. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence 12, 36, and 108. Solving for the ratio, that is 36 over 12, which is equal to 3. Since the value of the ratio is not between negative 1 and 1, therefore, the sequence has no sum. Find the sum of an infinite geometric sequence, 12, 3, and 3 fourths. The ratio will be 3 all over 12 or simply 1 fourth. Since the value of the ratio is between negative 1 and 1, therefore, the sequence has a sum. Since a sub 1 is equal to 12, substitute it to the given formula a all over 1 minus r, which is equal to 12 all over 1 minus 1 fourth. Simplifying the denominator, that will be 12 all over 3 fourths, or simply 12 over 1 over 3 fourths. Multiplying the means and extremes, that would be the geometric series is equal to 48 over 3, or simply 16. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!